Have you ever wondered why do we love old covered bridges so much? Come with us to find out the answer. The tradition of building covered bridges in Oregon started in the 1850s and lasted into the 20th century. By 1925, there were 450 covered bridges along Oregon's highways and roads. Today, we have only 50. How did we lose 400 bridges? Powerful floods, heavy traffic loads, vandalism, and neglect have led to the loss of the bridges. Today, we take you to Lane County and show you 12 covered bridges. Why do we choose Lane County? Because Lane County has more covered bridges than any other county in Oregon. Dorena Covered Bridge, sometimes called the Star Bridge because it provided access to Star Ranch. Dorena Bridge is a popular wedding and event site today. It crosses Rogue River length 500 feet. Named for the area residents, uh, Dora Burnett and Rena Martin using a combination of both of their first names. The bridge was bypassed by a concrete bridge in 1974. The arena is beautiful and creates a sense of history. There are so many reasons to preserve that old statues. Covered bridges are much more than woods and logs. They are our past and the soul of our community. We also admire the workmanship that went into these bridges. Kern Covered Bridge. Beautiful 105 feet Kern Bridge has a unique feature only bridge in Oregon with two colors, both red and white. The side is red and the portal is white. It was named after an early pioneer family. In 1925, the first bridge was replaced. Lane County employees built it themselves to save labor costs. Later, the cover bridge was bypassed by a concrete bridge, now closed to cars. We love this charming place in the foggy morning with a Rogue River view. Mosby Creek Covered Bridge. 
We were very excited to drive to the oldest covered bridge in all of Lane County. Mosby Creek Bridge, sometimes called Lane Bridge, is the only covered bridge that is still part of Cottage Grove's roadway infrastructure. Mosby Bridge is adjacent to a primary trail headed to Rogue River Trail. This is also the best access to the Orange Railroad Bridge seen in the beginning of the 1985 movie Stand By Me. The bridge features beautiful arched portals and crosses Mosby Creek. Steward Covered Bridge. This is 60 feet Steward Bridge built in 1930 crosses Mosby Creek. Unfortunately, this bridge is not free of graffiti. It was listed on the National Registry of Historic Places in 1979. Oregon's covered bridges are iconic of America. When we see one, our feelings go back to the bygone days. Centennial Covered Bridge. This pedestrian bridge was built by volunteers to commemorate Cottage Grove's 100th birthday. Cottage Grove is a historic town and known as the covered bridge capital of the West. The Centennial Bridge was built in 1987 and is only 10 feet wide and 14 feet tall with many windows along both sides. This charming bridge is a 3 8 scale model of the famous Chambers Railroad Covered Bridge located nearby. Both cross the Coast Fork of the Willamette River. Chambers Railroad Covered Bridge this is the only remaining fully covered railroad bridge in Oregon, and perhaps the only one west of Mississippi. It is believed there are only eight covered railroad bridges in the nation, and of those remaining, the Chambers Bridge is the tallest. It was built in 1925 by lumberman J.E. Chambers to cross the Coast Fork of the Willamette.
The bridge was part of a rail system used to haul logs. The bridge was built to endure the massive weight of the lumber trains and built tall to accommodate their stack loads. The bridge was restored in 2011 for pedestrians and bicycles. Parvin Covered Bridge. The Parvin Covered Bridge, also known as Lost Creek Bridge, is set in a beautiful rural landscape. Built in the 1880s, the 66 foot long bridge originally spanned Lost Creek. In 1917, the first Parvin Bridge failed an inspection when significant worm damage and decay was noted. In 1921, an entirely new single-lane bridge was built and is today's Parvin Bridge. Covered bridges are known as kissing bridges. According to folklore, bridges were covered so that a couple of other couples could go in and kiss without being seen. Lowell Covered Bridge. The 24 foot wide Laurel Covered Bridge is the widest covered bridge in Oregon. In 1907, the first Laurel Cover Bridge was built, replacing ferry service across the Middle Fork of the Willamette River. Niels Rooney built the bridge with a crew of eight men. But in 1940, a truck accident severely damaged the bridge and the new bridge had to be constructed. In 1953, with the planned construction of Dexter Dam, the bridge had to be raised an additional six feet. Covered bridges may be less complex structures than modern bridges, but the covered ones are engineering wonders. These bridges uh, tended to use local trees and connect us with a more glorious path. We just love these old bridges. Here we enjoy the views of the beautiful lakes. Office Covered Bridge. Oregon's longest bridge, Office Covered Bridge, with a length of 180 feet, the bridge crosses over North Fork on the Middle Fork of the Willamette River. Office Bridge is bright red. It is the only bridge in Oregon with a separate pedestrian walkway.
High waters washed out the original bridge, so a second was built in 1941 to provide access from the mill to the Westford Lumber Company's administrative offices. The bridge lasted only four years before a storm took it out too. The third and current bridge was built higher to avoid storm waters and was designed to handle the size and load of logging trucks. We enjoy the beautiful views windows provide bridge is lit up with lights which are switched on by Santa Claus as he drives the fire truck. Windy Covered Bridge, also known as Mill Creek Bridge. A bridge was built by Lane County in 1938 for 2000 $241. With a length of 60 feet, the bridge crosses over the Mill Creek. The Wending Bridge uh, interior was once plastered with circus posters, just like the nearby Ernest Bridge, but those have been removed. Ernest Covered Bridge. The Ernest Covered Bridge, sometimes called the Mohawk River Bridge, is the classic white covered bridge. The Ernest Bridge appeared in the 1960 movies Shenandoah, starring James Stewart. The film company altered the bridge to give it a Civil War era look. After filming, it was restored with new siding and paint. Wandered between its hills, and the epic struggle had divided a nation. Men fought here and died. And on this land, a heroic family forged its legend. Virginia needs all of her sons, Mr. Anderson. That might be so, Johnson, but these are my sons. They don't belong to the state. This is the story of Charlie Anderson, played by James Stewart and his family. They reached for their rifles in the name of love, not hate and met the challenge of two armies with a courage that lives on the screen for all to share. Ernest Bridge features a small window on one side for motors to view oncoming traffic. Built in 1903, the 75-foot-long bridge crosses over the Mohawk River. The Good Pasture Bridge is Oregon's most frequently photographed covered bridge. Unfortunately, we're not able to photograph it because of the renovation. With a length of 165 feet, the bridge crosses over the famous McKinsey River. It was built in 1938. In 1987, the bridge was failing because of heavy traffic load but the county renovated the original structure. Mm -hmm. 
Good Pastor Cover Bridge is our last visited bridge. After visiting 12 covered bridges, we have an answer to why do we love old covered bridges so much? One of the reasons old covered bridges are so attractive might simply be that they're unique and have so much history and old craftsmanship behind them. They speak to us of another time. From the original 450 of these bridges in Oregon, only about 50 are left. We hope with the efforts of local communities and the state of Oregon, we will continue to enjoy these marvelous structures for centuries. Mm -hmm.